He doesn't want to overrun Montoya. He wants to be able to pick up the throttle, drive the car through 15, and also maintain that momentum through 16 so that he can get onto the rear of the car. And therefore, as they come down into turn one at the end of the pit straight to ensure that he's got a chance to pass. He's closing, but again, Montoya defends down the inside. Michael can do nothing this time again. But again, Montoya loses speed in the middle part, and here comes Michael. Michael gets back into Montoya, and Schumacher retakes the lead. A round of applause from the Ferrari mechanics. But these two guys are really racing. This is what motor racing's about. Wheel to wheel, giving each other just enough room, making tiny mistakes, trying to take advantage. And Schumacher and Montoya, this is what it's all about. Well, that is a total brilliance from Michael Schumacher. He knew that he forced Montoya into turn one to break late, to not then have the ideal entry to the corner. He's probably off the throttle too long. Michael cut back to the right and just drove around him with about another five or six miles an hour advantage. Now Raikkonen's going to give a lot of heat to Juan Pablo Montoya. Yeah, but look at Michael. He's really beginning to pull away. He's definitely got the speed advantage here. And now that he's managed to get past, he is flying as he begins to pull out. So Montoya on the brakes, very late. Can't get the car slowed down, has to straighten it up. Michael sees that region. He just pulls over to the right and just drives around the outside. Thank you, Juan Pablo. I thought you were smarter than you are. Well, that was fantastic, but you can't say that... Schumacher's looking over at Montoya. He's watching him. I bet you he's laughing his head off on that helmet. I bet he is indeed, but uh, he didn't... Neither of them... Pits are getting ready to bring somebody in. Is it Michael Schumacher? I guess it's more likely to be Schumacher than Barrichello because Barrichello is all by himself, but it may well be the Brazilian. Barrichello is in the pits. He's out of that picture. Look, he should be in the back of that shot we just saw. So Barrichello will be coming into the pit lane. And look at the toe that Michael Schumacher's got this side. Yes. Coulthard goes to cover the line. Schumacher goes down the outside and they just about touch. And once again, oh, they're oh, so close. yes. Fantastic. And the crowd has gone berserk. They might well be Italians rather than Americans. They appreciated that. They love to see a fight, and my gosh, they got one. Now, I bet Coulthard will move over and let Hakkinen through. Yes, that's exactly what he's done. He's done his job as best he could, knowing that he's under investigation. He's held Schumacher up as long as he has that could. The German has fought past him brilliantly. Hakkinen has taken over the attack now, and I'm expecting Coulthard, if the stewards say thumbs down, to be in shortly. Yes, it was very, very brave by Michael Schumacher, and I have to say, Coulthard making life as difficult as he could, and then played it fair. I would, it would have been awful if Coulthard had a bump Schumacher out of there. It would not be would not be the correct thing to do. That's not the sort of thing David would do, but he sure is going to make it as hard as he can. And Schumacher putting an enormous amount of faith in David Coulthard there with his championship chances. Incredible. Look at this. Squeezes Coulthard across the curb. They must have touched. That was so close. Oh, now, listen. Uh, 16th lap, David Coulthard, of course, has already done so. And it's getting very close to push and chug for Michael Schumacher as the back of the McLaren steps out, just a whisker, going through the retifilio, round the Grand Curve, and they go round the Grand Curve at a, a, a terrific speed. Well, we now know. Ooh, Bang! That's big, what that's was Coulthard. That? That's Coulthard David blowing Coulthard. up. David Coulthard out of the race. Now, if that's happened to him, it's academic now. What strategy? Schumacher's going for the lead of the Rosia. And he right up alongside and he's going through. When they go past, listen to the Tifosi. There they are. They won't know. And there is David Coulthard trying to look inside. He's going to take the steering wheel off the car. And there is the Ferrari pit. And Michael Schumacher, for the first time, leads across the line. The scarlet flags wave. The Tifosi are overjoyed. Michael Schumacher leads for Ferrari 
in Italy. So this is the final Grand Prix of Michael Schumacher's career. He's going out fighting. He's racing with Raikkonen, who's trying to block him into turn one. Schumacher's having none of it. They're side by side. Don't collide, guys. Please don't collide. Raikkonen gives him room. Schumacher is through. The crowd go bananas. And that says everything you need to know about Michael Schumacher's spirit. Raikkonen gave him just about the width of a Ferrari and he decided to take it. Super brave stuff there from Michael Schumacher. Raikkonen thought he got that one covered off and was getting ready to take the corner. And uh, Michael said, OK, I I'm still got I've still got enough space. And there's so much grip down there on the inside of turn one. Always has been. Michael knows that as well as anybody. And uh, Kimi released him a little bit too early. Realised he'd made the mistake. Tried to squeeze him back one more time. But Schumacher takes the position. They're now five and a half seconds adrift. Now we're with Michael Schumacher. This is lap 65. Two laps to go at the end of this one. And Schumacher... Yes! Michael Schumacher takes the lead in the Grand Prix of Europe and the Benetton team go berserk with delight. Now I think he will pull away from Jean Alesi who will feel deflated, bitterly disappointed and enormously impressed. The psychological pressure, I think, will get to the Ferrari driver. Indeed, it has done so already. And Michael Schumacher has got this lap and the next one to go between...